Uganda, the Pearl of Africa, is gifted by nature in extremes. Endowed with 65 ethnicities, divided mainly among Bantu and Nilotic groupings, each of these ethnicities has a distinct culture which is exhibited through its dialect, music, dances, dresses, architecture, and other traditions. Uganda is a singing and dancing country. There is music and dance for every occasion. For marriage, for war, for harvest, for death, for planting, for love, and for bath. Each single ethnicity provides a long repertoire of its music and dances. <laughs> The secret behind Uganda's traditional music lies behind the various musical instruments that do not need electrification to sound. The drum is used throughout Uganda. Drums only vary in shapes and sizes. Then come the stringed instruments. The bowl lyric, the Baganda call it endongo. The Basoga call it Ntongoli, the Japadola call it Tongoli, while the Sabinis call it Bukandit. <laughs> the Chiga traditional bowlery is known as the Nanga. Harps provide beautiful music. The Baganda call it Nanga, the Lukbaras call it Okuku and the Alus named it Adungu. The Basoga can easily be referred to as the masters of the flute. The Basoga and the Baganda call it Endere, while the Banyankole call it Omukuri. Trumpets also prominently feature among Uganda's traditional instruments, but the Alul of northern Uganda took it to a different height. Aguara performers can be very spectacular. This is the hand piano, a versatile instrument of music. The Itasuts mastered it and call it Akogo, while the Acholis of northern Uganda adore it as Lukeme. When the Basuga sound these wooden xylophones, they call Embairi. Neighborhoods rush to celebrate. The Alus, the Bakonzo, Banyoro, and many other people of Uganda dance to the beautiful tones of this instrument. The calabash is not only used as a container of traditional beer, it is also used as an instrument to provide sounds for music by the Acholi. This is the Aguata. These are the pan pipes. They are part and parcel of the colorful soga traditional music. These, in brief, are the major instruments that provide Uganda's traditional music. These are the slopes of Mountain Elgon. It is circumcision season. Young men are being initiated into adulthood. This ceremony known as Imbalu is accompanied by lots of singing and drumming. This circumcision dance is also known as Imbalu or Kadodi. <laughs>
Acholi live in the northern part of Uganda, and they have a common border with southern Sudan. These are people with a very rich culture, with a long repertoire of traditional music and dances. This is not balancing competition. It is Lukemi, a dance performed by young girls at social functions. The name of the dance Lukemi is derived from its hand piano, an instrument that orchestrates this dance. La Caraca dance, a courtship dance performed by young people. The calabashes provide quick rhythmic sounds accompanied by quick drumming. This dance is performed at general entertainment ceremonies. The Acholi used to be ruled by their traditional chiefs, the Rot, and Bola dance is the majestic dance only performed for chiefs and other big dignitaries. history of the Kingdom of Buganda in central Uganda dates back to the 14th century. The King of Buganda is known as Kabaka. When Uganda became a British protectorate in 1894, Buganda had a centralized system of government which the British replicated in other areas of the protectorate because of its efficiency. The Buganda occupy a large swath of land along the northern shores of Lake Victoria. Buganda's traditional architecture is disappearing. However, Kasubi Tombs, which was originally a palace built by Kabaka Mutesa I, who reigned between 1856 to 1884, is still standing. This magnificent architecture demonstrates traditional symbolic artistry, a true incarnation of the Ganda traditional values. It is inside this palace where the latest four Kabakas of Buganda were laid to rest. This old court musician, Sirwanga, used to sing for Sekabaka Edward Mutesa II at his palace in Mengo. Even today, he performs for his successor, Kabaka Mwenda Mutevi II, at his palace in Banda. <laughs> The two best known dancers for the Baganda are Nankasa, Bachsimba, Mwogola, and Ebaga. Nankasa was performed for chiefs.
Imbaga, this is rigorous dance performed by women in a wedding dance. The dancers entertain the bride, the groom and their guests while demonstrating marital responsibilities and cores. This is Teso sub region in eastern Uganda. Nobody doubts that the Iteso are the masters of the hand piano they call Akogo. This is Akogo dance, a name derived from the hand piano in our Teso language. <laughs> As you enter Mbarara town, the capital of Ankole sub-region in western Uganda, you are welcomed by the sculpture of a long-horned cow, a symbol of the area. The Banyankole are both cultivators and cattle keepers. This man is performing a traditional poktik recital known as Echevuko. The Banyankole used to tell stories about their heritage and adventures in this time. Their best known dance is called Echitaguru. It is a dance performed at social functions. The Basoga, the people from the source of the Nile, Africa's longest river. Busoga is a kingdom ruled by a traditional ruler called the Chabazinga. Basoga are known for their beautiful music and dances. Their best known dance is Tamena Ibuga, Irongo Nalufuka. see up the eastern gate to Uganda from Kenya. People living here are called Samia. The Samias are cultivators, but there is a lot of business activity at the border. Owaro is the name given to the main dance of the Samia. <laughs> Bunyoro Kingdom in Midwestern Uganda must have come from the old kingdom of Chitara, which extended over western Uganda and parts of northern Tanzania during the Chwezi dynasty. Omuka Makawalega will always be remembered for his resistance to colonial rule. The king of Bunyoro is referred to as Omukama. In front of his palace referred to as the Karuzika, the Banyoro perform this love dance or Unyege in Togoro.
the kingdom of Toro is a breakaway kingdom from that of Unyoro. This is relatively a young kingdom. The present Omukama of Toro, Oyo Nyimba Kabamba Iguru, ascended to the throne at the age of three after the demise of his father, Omukama Kaboyo. The Batoro's culture is very closely linked to that of the kingdom of Unyoro. They also have Orunyege dance. This is Orunyege Toro version. Eastern Uganda is a cosmopolitan Uganda, a meeting point of smaller ethnic groupings. Here the Banyoli, people from the new district of Butaleja, perform a unique dance known as Amavega dance. Toro Hill poses like a higher rise over Toro Town, the capital of the Japatola, a Luo speaking people of eastern Uganda, whose best dance is Soye Ajore dance. Uganda are known to have invented adungu, an instrument that plays these beautiful sounds. Adungu dance is the dance that accompanies it. They also perform a colorful ceremonial dance called Aguara, whilst blowing their traditional trumpets. Chiga are located in southwestern Uganda. They occupy hillside lands of Kabale. These scenic landscapes are commonly referred to as the Switzerland of Africa. Here they cultivate a lot of fruits and vegetables in these rich soils. Their main dance is Ichizino.
We are on the slopes of the mountains of the moon, the Renzoris in western Uganda. This is home to the Bakonzo people. Omudinho is one of their dancers. Tourist Karama Jong in northeastern Uganda have held on to their traditions. Kato is at the center of their life. They have several traditional dances. Here they perform a love dance called Naleo. <laughs> Uganda is a country of varying diversity. Uganda's dress is a reflection of this diversity, a dichotomy of graceful traditional creativity and adventurous modernity for the tastes of both citizens and visitors, looking for the unique and exciting in the dress. The Banyankole men, the cattle keepers, traditionally used to wear a chikoi, a wide heart while carrying a defensive stick called enkoni. These smart ladies are dressed in a gomesi or busuti. The gomesi was originally a uniform of Gaya as a girls' school. It was improved to become a graceful ladies' wear by an Indian called Gomez, hence the name gomesi. The gomesi today is a traditional dress of women in central, eastern and parts of northern Uganda. The kanzu, a long tunic with frontal red embroidery, is a traditional dress for men in central, western and some parts of eastern Uganda. It is topped up with a jacket of any color and it is normally donned during cultural festivals. The ladies from western Uganda dress in almost a similar attire. The Banyankole call it a chitambi or omwenda, while the Batoro and Banyoro call it a suka. In Chisoro district, ladies wear a similar dress known as Mushanana. This is a traditional Ganda ladies fashion called Esuti. And before the coming of the Arab traders who introduced cotton fabrics, ladies used to don this fashion using back cloth known as Olubugo. Uganda's traditional music, dances and dresses reflect a rich and diverse heritage over unprecedented potential for boosting our untapped wealth, which is the foundation for building a strong